There's three places where I go if I want to play World of Warcraft this year. To those of you familiar with my videos over the past year will not come as a surprise hearing that Warmain is one of them. For a person like me that doesn't play every day, has breaks even as long as a few months at a time, a server like this with its progression over so you don't need to rush getting gear and boss skills to stay competitive without changes to the server yet it's still being consistently popular and active, this is a perfect choice. You don't need to spend time leveling and gearing since your characters are saved here forever. No need to study new tactics or changes to classes. It's still the same expansion on the same patch and with the same content. Which may be a downside to a more active player who always wants a new challenge, but for me this is perfect. If you want to know more about Warmain and the various realms it offers, I have made other videos where I discuss it more in depth. However, if you are that player who wants changes and progression, faster pace, and for the times when I want that too, I just go retail. I've been playing Dragonflight and now the War Within actively for several weeks, and although it almost feels like a different game compared to War Mains Wrath of Lich King, I can still appreciate both and keep jumping between the two depending on what kind of experience I want to have playing the game. The newest expansion is great. I'm enjoying everything it has to offer, and especially after so many years playing mostly the older expansions on private servers, this rejuvenated my love for World of Warcraft, discovering new content, playing your class differently, and having such a variety in terms of classes, specs, even hero talents now, customization, solo gameplay even, and so much more. So while it is very hard comparing Warmain's Wrath of Lich King, which is about 15 years old game, with the War Within that just came out, I can see the good in both of them. And the third server I've been playing on ever since it came out a year and a half ago, also unsurprisingly to my viewers, don't forget to subscribe by the way, is White Main, especially their Cataclysm Realm Maelstrom, also at the end of its progression now, but Whitemane will be launching new fresh realms that will eventually merge with Maelstrom. It has been very consistent, although the launch of Cataclysm Classic definitely took its toll on Whitemane's population, it still is a solid and populated server that offers many ways you can play on it. Whether you want to level the old fashioned way or prefer to boost your character to max level instantly and just play PvP, I have also made many videos about the good and the bad of Whitemane. So if you want more info, you know where to find it. That's it. These are my personal top 3 places where I like to play WoW and where I have been playing for like 90% of the time throughout the past year. There's not as much development on the private service scene compared to 2023 or 2022 I feel like. The few larger projects that have been developing new realms and expansions are still nowhere near finished. This includes Ascensions, Conquest of Azeroth, Duskhaven Reforged, Taudi's Legion, and a few more. Will these ever get finished? That's a topic for another video, but if you want to play WoW now, these three are what I recommend for the kind of player I am. But you may still find a better place for yourself, for which I have many reviews and videos talking about almost every single WoW server there is. Let us know in the comments what your favorite private servers have been this year or have you considered playing classic or retail like me. Thanks for watching, see you in World of Warcraft.